Now, when he came to that part, his disciples and students said, hang on a second, we can understand the first two, but sing when someone is taken tragically? How does that come into the picture? And he explained that the life of a person is like a song. We have our ups, we have our downs, it's like a melody. And it doesn't finish, as we said before, with the passing in this world. The soul continues, continues upwards to a higher place, to a better place. But their particular mission in this world still needs to go on. It can't be cut off completely. So these, these 85 people, and again, it's interesting that in Argentina, like the rest of the world, the two biggest terrorist attacks, of course, we remember two years earlier, the blowing up of the Israeli embassy. Jews targeted, such a small minority, yet targeted again and again throughout the world, only because we're Jewish. The singing represents the continuation of the life of the victims, even after their passing. Because it is up to us to continue their legacy, to preserve their memory. And that's what we are all doing. And that's what you have done now. That's what the government of Argentina has done now. But at the same time, part of preserving their memory is ensuring, like you said earlier, that commitment to bring those perpetrators to justice. Because it is something that is not quite sitting well with the Jewish community throughout the world, the fact that 25 years later, still nobody has been brought to justice as a result. So strengthening our resolve to do so, and clearly by preserving the memories and having these, this awareness happen is great. And we hope and pray that those who did this be swiftly brought to justice. But it is up to all of us to continue that the memories and legacies of those holy victims continue as a result of us. Wherever we are in the world saying this will not deter us, in the face of terror, we'll continue with strength, we'll continue proudly to have Jewish communities, to celebrate our heritage publicly. And once again, I would like to thank His Excellency the Ambassador for bringing that message to Canberra and God willing, as a result of this massive awareness that's happening in this 25 years, the international community as well will help put pressure so that those uh, Iranian-based terrorists are finally brought to justice and that the legacy of these victims be preserved and carried on. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rabbi. We've made it out.